In this week's episode, I share some of my favorite iPhone apps. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. I have my iPhone with me pretty much all day long. If it's not in my pocket, it's sitting on the table or on my desk or on my nightstand. I don't know how I've become so attached to it, but I have. And I have apps on my iPhone that I use practically every day. And most of them, I'm glad to say, are great apps. So today I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite iPhone apps that I think you'll find as useful as I do. I'm going to exclude games from this list and save them for another episode. And for all you Android fans out there, I do have a Nexus 7 tablet that I use almost as much as my iPhone, and I'll do an episode of my favorite Android apps in the future. But you will find many of the apps that I'm going to cover today are cross-platform, so please look for them in your app store. I'll have links to all these apps in the show notes, so please check them out at blogoklahoma.net. So here it is, some of my favorite iPhone apps. So first up is my favorite app on the iPhone, and that is Wonderlist. Wonderlist is a list management app where you can put in your project lists, your to-do lists, your uh, shopping list, that kind of thing. Um, it's cross-platform, uh, so you can get to it from practically anywhere, and you can collaborate on lists. You can share your list with other people, that kind of stuff. Wonderlist wonderful app, wonderful service. Please check them out. Uh, next up is Audible. Audible uh, is a service where you can buy uh, audiobooks from, and the app that they have for their service is just great. You click on it, you download your book from your library, and you listen to it. I mean, it's a very simple app, but it's a great app. Please check that out. Um, my favorite weather app on the iPhone is from Weather Underground, and it's labeled W Underground. Um, it provides, besides just the basic weather information, but it gives you some detailed weather information, extended forecasts. It provides real-time weather radar. Uh, it's, just a, it's just the best weather app that I found on the iPhone, period. Uh, next up is Telegram. Now, I've mentioned Telegram before. It is a chat service. It's an encrypted chat service. It's available cross-platform. I have it on every platform there's no way anybody on Telegram can't get hold of me. It is a service you should check out. Um, and you don't even need a username and password. It uses your phone number as your account, and you just and you type in a PIN number when you when you log in. It's it's easy. I recommend Telegram for anybody that's needing a simple chat utility that isn't a service like Facebook or Google or or anything like that. So check out Telegram. And speaking of Google, Google Plus has a brand new app, and it is excellent. It's easy to use. It's visually striking, and you should check it out. You should check out Google Plus if you're not on Google Plus anyways. Uh, it's a great service. And also a great service is Instagram. Their app, since it first came out for the iPhone, has been a great app. Uh, you just share your pictures with it. Uh, you can comment on other people's pictures, like other people's pictures. I'm sure everybody here that has an iPhone already has Instagram on it. It is a great app. I suggest you use it. The next app will surprise you. Uh, it is the Yahoo News Digest app. What it does is it comes out in two editions, a morning edition and an evening edition, and it gives you the top 10 or usually top 10, uh, most important stories of the news stories of the day. And it's just wonderful. It's visually striking. It's very user-friendly. And it provides you a way to keep informed without having to go through a lot of chaff or just to skim through headline after headline. It just gives you a good digest of what's happened during the day. And it's well-written. I highly recommend it. It's the Yahoo News Digest app. The next app is a, a kind of like a women's fashion magazine entertainment kind of app. It is called Bustle, B-U-S-T-L-E. 
and it's a very user-friendly app and it provides all sorts of links for fashion news health news entertainment news gossip news that kind of stuff uh but it's a i highly recommend the app is a good app that's bustle okay and next up is opinion the opinion app lets you record your own podcast it's a podcasting service and it is such a user-friendly way to record on your iPhone. You record a segment, you save it, you record another segment, and you can easily mix those with their very uh, friendly user interface. I highly recommend it. Opinion podcasting app. The next one are these last two or two uh, audio apps that I practically fire up every day. <laughs> One is NPR One, and it is part of the NPR radio network. Uh, it gives you a synopsis of all the day's news, and it provides it in a nice, uh, easy-to-use uh, user format. And while you're listening to a story, if that story doesn't interest you, you could say into your phone, next, and it'll play the next, next track. NPR One, a great uh, news radio app. And finally, this is also one of my most favorite apps, but it's only good for practically half the year. It's the MLB at bat app. <laughs> it keeps you informed of everything that's happening in major league baseball. <laughs> you can listen to games, you can watch the games, you can get the scores, you can get the scoreboard uh, or the, uh, the, the, the stat box on it live during the games. You can read news on your favorite teams. You can get announcements of games. You can find out the scores of any game that you want to know let's just if you're a baseball fan mlb at bat is your app to have <laughs> well there you have it a very quick synopsis of some of my favorite apps i hope you like them remember i have a link to all of these apps in the show notes where you can find more information about them please check them out and remember many of these are cross platforms so your your platform will have these apps on it. So please check them out. And I hope you've liked this list of my favorite iPhone apps. Just a reminder, the last day to register to vote in Oklahoma for the presidential primary on March 1st is February 5th. You can find more information on how to register to vote at ok.gov slash elections. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Hmm, I thought I mentioned it before. Well, I'll say it again. We have our own cafe press store. <laughs> there you can purchase a t-shirt, a coffee mug, a tote bag, and some other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on it. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash Blog Oklahoma podcast. New this week to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist, I've added three great new rock tracks for some great new uh, female artists that I'm sure you've never heard these before. <laughs> now, you can listen to the playlist at Spotify and YouTube. I'll have links to them and more and to show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And as always, thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of January 24th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 897 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hey! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.